Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to do your October the 10th just for today in a meditation. Hope you're doing well today. The title of today's meditation is Consequences. Before we got clean, most of our actions were guided by impulse. Today, we are not locked into this type of thinking that comes from our basic text, page 90. Ever been tempted to do something even when you knew the results would be disastrous? Ever thought about how much it was going to hurt to do what you were tempted to do? Then proceed to do it anyway? It is said that there are consequences to every action. Before we got clean, many of us simply didn't believe this. But now we know exactly what it means. When we act, we know there will be consequences to pay. No longer can we decide to do something in ignorance when we know full well that we won't like the price we'll have to pay. There, there's a prize and a price. It's okay to act despite the consequences if we're willing to pay the price, but there's always one to pay. Just for today, I will think about the consequences of my actions before I take them. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the we version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now. God, Grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please and thank you. Consequences. One of the things I think about consequences is that they usually seem to carry more weight, be more obvious after the fact, right? You've heard that saying, hindsight is twenty twenty. A lot of times that is spurred on by my acute awareness that I am paying the consequence, right, for my impulsive actions. And now I'm looking at it, saying to myself, why would you do that? You knew this was going to happen and you did it anyway. And then proceed to beat myself up for however long I need <laughs> to regroup and face the consequences of my actions. Today, we're in a position where we already know there's consequences and we can decide if we're willing to pay them before we act. It's crazy to me to hear when people say, and I've said it before, but not so much in these latter years of my recovery. Oh, my, my disease was just so active. I just, my character defects got in the way and I did blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but when we do the work, when we roll our sleeves up and we actually have worked the steps, we begin to see this stuff a mile away before we act. And then we make a choice to do the same, do whatever it is, we make a choice to pay the price for whatever choice we've chosen. If I put my hands on someone, if I cuss someone out, right, I was sharing about this last night, the stuff that I did in early recovery, a lot of it was due to mental illness, but a lot of it, I just chose in the moment to be shocking wanted to shock people into leaving me alone, right? P 
appearing to be a grown, fully grown woman on the outside, but scared and shaking on the inside. Today, I don't live like that. I wouldn't say every action I have is calculated because that sounds negative to me, but I consider my actions and I've paid some consequences for my actions. I have, believe me, I have, but most of the time they weren't anticipated. I was just making the best choice I thought I needed to make in that moment. And I was willing to pay whatever high price came with that decision. If it didn't go right, I was willing to face the music. If it went great, I was willing to face that too. Acceptance. Today, I want that for you. I want for you to be an individual that when people think about you and you think about you, that it comes to your mind that you're loyal, integral, responsible, and decisive. It takes work, but I know you can do it. Have a beautiful day today. I'm going to have a beautiful day. I'm so excited about waking the boys up and getting to the gym on time today. Have a beautiful day on purpose. Talk to you soon.